All right, guys, what we're we doing now? We're doing The Word, another song from Rubber Soul. Just love this album. Always wanted to teach these. Um, and so, in the lull between hired request lists, I'm doing some stuff that I want to do. <laughs> guys know it. it's fun all right so here's a little beginning now what's kind of weird about the Beatles because you'll have a 5-7 chord you'll have the F sharp in the guitar you know the chords and the piano whatever but they'll be singing in F natural and that kind of clashes with the F sharp in the but it gives it a nice sound. You know, when you have two different instruments that are clashing like that, a vocal line and, and a piano or guitar, it, it doesn't clash so much. But that kind of gives them a lot of their, their neat sound as they do the minor, minor, while the guitar and the piano are doing the major. Da, 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 yeah, that, da. If you did that on a piano, it would sound awful. But if you have a vocal line doing it, and then, then the instruments are, are playing the major chord, it works, and they, that, that gives them a lot of their sound, I think, on some of these types of songs. Let's get going. G, B. Oh, introduce myself. Hello, I'm Sean Cheek. Welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. This is my free part one I put on YouTube. This is another little part one of a Beatles tune. But uh, webpianoteacher.com is on my website. I forgot to write it up there. Webpianoteacher.com. We had to do the rest of this song for my, my students online. Um, and you guys, all my students online, those who, uh, you know, are my, my followers, so it's on there. Um, SeanCheek.com is my site for reading music, learning how to cite, read, real music notation. No popular songs on there. It's just my stuff that I put to help you learn to read better and faster. Uh, lots of PDF files for download, flashcards, and, and, and lots of good stuff. Anyway, let's get going. G and B. Then we go to D and G. Alright, and so there we do have an F, a D minor with the F natural, but I go, I'm going to go 3, 5 with the G and B, and then D and G with a 1 and 3. And I'm going to roll this down because that's what they do. Okay? F, D, A. The left hand will be on a D octave. So, now I wrote this one out separate from this one because only the first time do I hear uh, one time, and then play the chord one time, and then it's two. Okay, so right here it's only one time. A, C, D, F sharp. Apologize for the little smudges. If it looks like a one and a half year old came by and, and touched it, and then I had to come up and retouch, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> okay, so uh, apologize for the little smudging. A, C, D, F sharp, one time, and then the left hand is going to go to A octave two times. One, two, and then the right hand will then again play that chord, but two times this time. So here's the, here's the first box. Now we're going to do this five times. What is it? It's the same thing we just did. D to A and then that chord again. So left, right, left, right. And it goes left, right, right, left, right. Alright, so right here. to doing this box five times after you've done this and then we change to so G B D F left hand on a G octave left left right right left left right right and we do that only two times so it's one two three, all right so there's your, your free part one there and then we'll do the rest or we have done the rest on the website Hope you enjoy it, guys. Uh, remember, my hired request list is up. If you want to get on that uh, at this time, you know, look at the date I'm putting this video. There's when Saturday gets here, that'll be when I make the official list out. So just look for my my recent videos, and you'll see how to get on the list. Talk to you later.